The Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology in Kerala's Thiruvananthapuram is where future scientists and researchers of the Indian Space Agency, ISRO, are groomed. It is first such institute in India. Our correspondent Siddhartha MP gets us a report. Sophisticated labs for building and testing everything from drones to small satellites, huge antennas to track and communicate with satellites and perform high-end experiments. This place has it all. This is the Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology in Kerala's Thiruvananthapuram. It is a first-of-its-kind institution in Asia that offers higher education exclusively in the domains of space sciences, space technology and space applications. This is where the future scientists and leaders of the Indian Space Agency, ISRO, are made. ISRO needs uh, specialized uh, uh, no, human resources or trained students. Uh, they know at when they come so come out of the institute they must be able to take up the work and then join the mainstream and we are working in space uh, technology space application and then uh, de design of uh, space transportation system so they should be trained Run by the Department of Space, Government of India, IIST was set up in the year 2007. It was the brainchild of the then ISRO chairman Dr. Madhavan Nair. Since inception, IIST has been mentored and supported by veterans from the Indian Space Program. Dr. Abdul Kalam, a veteran rocket scientist who went on to become the President of India, was the first Chancellor of IIST. IIST offers a host of programs at the undergraduate, postgraduate levels, all focused on creating the next generation of space scientists and researchers, who can take India's space program further. We do have a very good uh, collaboration and MOUs with international uh, academic and research institutes. One of the prime I can tell is the Caltech in US. You are aware Caltech and JPL have a good model how they support NASA. Similarly, here we do have a collaboration with them on uh, areas of high-end research, both in propulsion as well as on making small satellites. In early 2022, InspireSat-1, a nano-satellite weighing 8 kilograms, was launched by ISRO. On a PSLV rocket, the satellite was built by students from IIST. This was a collaborative effort between students from India, USA, Taiwan and Singapore. As a breeding ground for top talent, in the space sector, IIST churns out hundreds of bright and young engineers every year. A good number of them go on to serve the Indian space agency ISRO, with the Indian private sector being empowered to build and launch rockets and satellites. Many students also choose to join Indian firms working towards building rockets and satellites. One of the salient features about this institute is that some of the best performers are absorbed by the Indian Space Research Organization and there are others who have opportunities waiting for them in India's fledgling private space sector. With video journalist Surendar in Tiruvannathapuram, Siddharth MP, Beyond, World is One.